Hello, my name is Casey Bernstein, and in this session today, this eight-minute session, we are going to play with the mobility of our joints to reduce stiffness, to get circulation going, and to feel better while we honor our own bodies. Okay, so let's start here with the hands, the fingers, and the wrists. For your body, start to activate mobility through your hands. Sense your fingers, sense the wrists, and get moving. And let the dance of your hands and wrists start to influence the mobility through your whole body. Starting to get moving, awakening, reducing stiffness, activating the synovial joints, the fluid within the joints. Now as you play with the hands and the fingers, and the wrists, start to play with the forearm rotation. So we have our fingers, hands, and wrists, and our forearms rotating. This will affect our elbow joints and our wrist joints and the movement of our hands. Sense your arms. Now bring your attention to your elbow joints. The elbow joints are a hinge joint. They open and close. Your body, your way. Start to play with the movement voice of your elbows and the forearms and the hands. So let's dance. Sense mobility here. Get moving through the fingers, the hands, the wrists, the forearms, and the elbow joints opening and closing. Just let the body come along, riding the wave of the movement. Now start to sense your upper arm bones. That's a humerus bone that connects us into the shoulder joints. The shoulder joints are a, can be a vulnerable joint. They have a big range of motion. For your body today, start to awaken the movement voice of your shoulders, your body's way. So now we have the upper extremities here of the hands, fingers, wrists, forearms, elbow joints, upper arm bones, and shoulders. Connecting into the shoulder girdle, we have our collarbones, our chest, our shoulder blades, your body, your dance. So we can also now connect into the vertebrae, our backs, our spines. So we have the tailbone, sacrum of the lower back, the lumbar area, the thoracic area of the rib cage, and the cervical spine into the neck. So let's play here with the dance of the spine. The spine has six healthy positions of forward bending and extension, rotation, and lateral movement. Play with snake-like movements of your spine in undulations. Add your head, add your rib cage, and add your pelvis. And put that all together. Sense your spine. Move it anyway. Welcome. Invite in the movement of your spine. Ah, then include in 
the shoulders, the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms, wrists and fingers. Now let's bring attention to the hip joint. We can awaken the hip joint here by moving the pelvis your way. Start to move the pelvis. You could do a pelvic circle. Another way to start to stimulate the hip joint is to move the leg so that we affect the way the head of the femur is in the, in the acetabulum, that crater space in your pelvis. Again, moving your pelvis will stimulate the hip joints. Move the lower back. So we can do that all. Upper extremities, spine, hip joints. Sensing movement as it moves through your body. Again, this is your body's way. Appreciating the design, the function of the particular joint in relationship to your body. Okay, now here are the knees. The knees are a hinge joint. They like to open and close. They prefer not to rotate. They like to open and close. This is a little bit of a balance. When I do a kick like this, I can fold them also like this and open them. Again, honoring my knees, hinging. And then let the movement melt through my body. Easy. Knees. Hip joints. Vertebrae. Shoulders. Forearms. Wrists. And hands. Now, let's bring attention to our experience my feet. I have the ankle joints, the way the lower leg bone situates itself on the talus bone in the foot. I have these navicular bones here of the ankle joint, toes and feet. So we have a whole body moving. Thank you. Feel well. Keep moving.